hello everyone in today's video we are going to control our character movements using keyboard keys and setting up our camera to follow the player this is the second part of our third person movement tutorial series thanks for watching the last video and if you missed the first part the link is given in the description below but before we start make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button to the channel so that you don't miss any video so we had to fix our animations from rotating the body so select walk in the inspector go to root transform rotation check back into pause apply changes do the same for the run animation stand jump and jump don't forget to apply the changes let's use that for now back to the player add a component treat the body freeze its rotation on x y and z add a capsule collider Let's adjust it y to 0.8, radius 0.3, and height to 1.65. And check root motion. So now it's time for programming our game. And today we are not going to code, we are using Playmaker. Playmaker is an asset that helps you to program without writing any code. You can now buy it from your Interset store or download it for free. The link is given in the description below. After downloading, import Playmaker in your project. You will see a welcome window. Click install, then install Playmaker. Click I made a backup, go ahead. Select import. Wait for it. After installing, close the window and now we have Playmaker with no errors in our project. Go back to the player. Add a component. Type FSM. FSM. You see a Playmaker FSM, click on it. This means that Playmaker is working. Name the FSM movement. Before you do anything, go to the player, right click, prefab, and pack prefab. Go to the inspector, click on the edit on the FSM. So now this is our Playmaker window. Let's press it here for more space. Adjust a little bit. As you see at state, we go to state 1, let's rename our state to idle. Then in the bottom right corner, you see an action browser, click on it. Here we can search for playmaker action, so we need to move our player by pressing WSA and D keys on our keyboard. So right, get axis vector, double click on the action, and now it is in our first state. Get axis vector uses horizontal and vertical which represents WSA and D axis then store a vector in a new variable named move also store magnitude in a new variable named move magnitude back to the action browser search for control simple move then click on it then click in the error it will automatically add a character component in the player let's adjust some settings white 0.8 radius 0.3 and the height 1.5 add move variable to move vector let's test and see it's working but she's not doing any animation so let's add animation to our player Browse, set animation float action. The action needs parameter to play the animation. And let's use our work parameter in the animator tab. Click on the options, work or right work, but make sure the spelling is the same. Value to move magnitude, check every frame. 
let's test again great our player admits but she's looking in one direction to fix that we need an action smooth look at the election search for it target directions to move it works our player moves with actions with animations and rotates when i press w s a and d but the camera does not follow our player and to do that we are going to use a very cool asset called cinemachine you can download cinemachine from asset store package manager and in this project file all links are given to you in the description below import cinemachine from the project file to the asset folder wait for it to finish compiling When it's done, you will see a Cinemachine tab on top. Create a free look camera. Select Virtual Camera Free Look 1 in the inspector. Assign the player on the follow and also on look at. Uncheck Invert in Y axis and uncheck Invert in X axis. Under top rig, aim on track object offset Y to 1 and middle rig Y to 1 and also bottom rig right 1 on Y. Don't forget to assign main camera to the player. Go to player FSM under get axis vector relative to main camera. So let's play and see. Oops, I just forgot to remove the capsule collider and check and see. So now we can rotate the camera with our mouse and the camera follows our character when moving. Out of the play mode, remove the capsule collider. So now we need our player to run and jump and we shall do that in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time. We love you so much.